Hello, I'm Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest YouTube video. Today I have some exciting news to share with you, which is that I've just released a new bundle of printables over on my website. This is the mixed media bundle and I did lots of painting with acrylic paint and watercolour and then I've put them together into this bundle of eight different sheets. I absolutely love working with printables. I just find them just joyous to use really and so many different options for using them. So I wanted to share with you a few pages that I've already created to give you some ideas. So some of them I've created in quite a simple way. I've just used them in my creative journal. So this one, I've torn one of the sheets, glued it down on both sides and then written in the middle. So really quick way to get started with some journal pages. And on this one, I cut a circle out of the centre, which I glued on this side and again gave me lots of writing spaces. But again, really quick and easy way to bring some beautiful splashes of colour to your journals. And I've also created a couple of pages in my art journal. So for this one, I just tore up some of the pieces of paper and glued it around my page and then just picked some colours of paints which I could use to kind of bring everything together and repeated some of the shapes and designs in different places on my journal page. And again here, I tore out some pieces, glued them down and then just built up the rest of my page around it. And that's some, similar to what I'm going to be creating today. So I just had so much fun putting these together, but I wanted them to be something that would work in both of these styles of journals, just so that you've got something that kind of could, can act as a springboard to get you started if you're feeling a little bit creatively stuck. So I'll leave a link to this printable bundle down below. Um, if you're on my top tier patrons, do check on there because I've actually released this as a bonus free printable for December. So yeah, I'll leave all the details below. I'm going to be using a Dilusions art journal today. And I'm going to start off as I did with my other art journal pages and just tear some pieces out. And I don't worry at this stage about what's going to be on each of the different areas that I'm tearing up. For me, that's kind of part of the fun of creating the page. You don't necessarily know where it's going to go, but this just should give you some lovely ideas for getting started. So I think those three will be enough. I will tear off the white border and then I'll glue them onto my page. And to glue them down, I'm just going to be using some Pritt stick. Now that I've got those in place, I want to start adding some paint to my background. I'm going to start off with these two, which are Naples Yellow Red and Venetian Rose. I, when I'm doing this, I just try and find a couple of colours which I think are similar. So I quite like the orangey in here. In fact, it's probably what I actually used in the first place. And I like this pink. I am going to mute them down afterwards. And I feel like getting my hands involved and getting messy today. So I'm actually just going to put these paints down using my fingers. You could definitely use a brush or palette knife though, if you prefer. I'm just going to start spreading this around my page in different places. And one of the things I like to do is take it up and over the edge of the printables. So that helps them to look a little bit more part of the page rather than something that was glued on. Like with the ones I showed right at the beginning of the video, I feel it's not immediately obvious where the printables begin and end. And that's something I really like about them. 
I often get asked if I get stuck for ideas creatively and I do sometimes definitely. But I find using printables like this a great way to just kickstart something. And I do it, of course, with other patterned papers as well. I just look for a little bit of inspiration, something that I can glue down on my page that's going to get me started. So again, just taking that slightly over the edge of those printables there. I have lots of ideas for printables for the new year. I release a bundle on Patreon each month anyway, and I'm going to continue doing those, but some more kind of playful ones as well, which just hopefully give more ideas and things that you can quickly use in your journals. And if you're short of time, again, I just think anything that you can add quickly to your page and get you started is great. And pages like this, sometimes I'll do over a few days. I'll just get a couple of layers down and then just keep coming back to it when I've got a spare five or 10 minutes. Okay, I'm happy with how that one's looking. So I'm now going to do the same with the pink colour. With my art journaling, I very nearly always like to find some way of being able to bring some writing into my journal pages as well. So once I've got the first layer of colour down, that's something I will be starting to think about. So I'm just going to spend a minute or so now covering the rest of this page with the pink paint and then getting it all dried off. I now want to start muting these colours down a little bit and I'm going to use some white gesso primer. You could definitely use acrylic paint but I want mine to be slightly less opaque than the acrylic paint that I've got because I still want to be able to see through it. So I'm going to be just dipping the edge of an old card into that gesso and moving it around. I absolutely love the textures you get with doing this. And again, I'm just gonna be taking it slightly over the edges of those printables. Again, you could use a palette knife or brush if you prefer. I find if I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed, actually really getting my hands involved and using different tools, is another kind of good way of signaling to my brain that I want to relax and just involve myself in a little bit of creative play. So you don't need lots of it, but it really does start to very quickly change the look of that paint underneath it. There's still some patches where the true colours are coming through, but it just helps to soften lots of those other little areas. And you've got those really interesting kind of lines and marks in it that get created by that card. Okay, I'm really happy with how that's looking. So again, I'm just going to get that dried off. The next thing I'm going to do is start extending some of the patterns from the printables onto the background. And again, it's a really nice way of being able to merge these so that they look like they belong on your page. And I'm going to be using my Neo Colors 2s, the water soluble ones. These have been by far one of my favorite purchases of this year in terms of my art supplies. Um, if, but if you don't have these, you could use, you could probably use coloured pencil on this, watercolour, acrylic paint, paint pens, anything that you've got. 
And to me, it doesn't matter if the colours don't tie up exactly, but I'm going to start really just bringing those shapes in. So I'm dipping my Neo Color straight into a pot of water because it really helps to bring out that vibrancy and just extending those around a little bit. So it's such a good way of making them look like they belong and starting to disguise what you've kind of glued on and what you've then added later. And so I think this is why I find it so fun because I can just pick out elements and patterns, shapes, or just colors that I like and just play with them a little bit. So I think I might extend a couple of circles out here as well. Again, not exactly the same colours, but it really doesn't matter. Just bring in a little bit of interest there. And I've got some of these blue circles along the bottom too. I think I might just add one up here and maybe add another one down here. And I think another thing I like with printables is that I don't feel they're so precious that I'm worried to use them. So when I buy patterned papers or books with patterned papers in, I always want to make sure that I'm happy with the way that I've used them and I've planned something out in advance. Whereas with printables, because you can just keep printing them again and again, I think it just gives you that freedom to just really play and explore with them. And there's a couple of flowers, kind of yellowy orange. I'm not sure how well these will show up on the background, but hopefully there'll be at least a little hint of them. And I could use a brush at this point to spread out the pigment of these Neo colors, but I want to use them straight from the stick just to hopefully pick up as much color as possible. So even if it's just a little hint of that flower down here, I'm quite happy with that. Maybe just pop a little bit of orange in the center. And I've got a few of these orange flowers as well. And perhaps add one over here. And I think I might also add some little lines, just taking them over the top of the printables. And across the page. Again, it's just almost confusing the eye as to what was there, and what you've added. And then maybe one just going up around here too. And I've left some space here in the middle because I want to be able to add some writing. So I'm now just going to get all of those different elements dried off. Well, I'm now getting to the stage where I'm starting to think about final details. I've got some black lines around some of the circles. So I'm thinking it'd be nice just to mimic that in a few different places. And possibly also some white details too. Let's add some white in here. And I'm not using these with water this time. Just adding a few details. might just try and add a little bit more detail to this one now it's dry. I 
I now want to add a quote to my page and I find at this time of year I start to worry quite a lot about will everything go smoothly during December, will I get everything done that I wanted to before the end of the year. I think because there's lots of other kind of responsibilities and things that need to get done, I wanted to put down this quote as a little reminder that spending your time worrying doesn't solve a thing. And mostly things tend to have a way of working themselves out in the end. So that's my quote that I've added. And I want to be able to add a little bit of journal writing down here. And I'm going to use my titanium white acrylic paint this time. And I probably could write straight onto this background, but I just want something slightly more opaque. Again, it just adds an extra bit of interest to those pages as well. So I'm just kind of smearing that outwards to give me a nice little bit of writing space. And I really like how that kind of softens the look of the centre of those pages. I think actually looking at it while I'm here, I might even just add a few little bits in other places. just for a bit of interest. And I love how we've got the details of those printables, but they really have now disappeared into the background of the page just by playing around with a few different colours and shapes that we've picked up and kind of mimicked in other places. Okay, I think that will do me. Gonna get that all dried off now so that I can just add a little bit of writing. For my writing, I'm going to use a black Tombow mono drawing pen. If you wanted something more subtle, you could just use a regular pencil, but I think it will look quite good with some black contrast in here. So I'm just gonna write a few thoughts to myself. So that is my journal writing now all added. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how this page came together. I did try to explain kind of the process that I went through with these, but I think it's always easier if you can kind of see it being done. And of course, or you can just use them in kind of much simpler ways and just use them exactly as they are. So I'll leave a link for everything down below. Well, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. I hope you're doing re really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next one. Mm -hmm.